Hi and welcome back to Route 7. Let's not waste any time, let's get down to the train room and see what I did about repairing the track, the riser and the bridge. Speak to you later. Bye bye. So going back to the repair or the remodeling, there's the old track that I ripped up. The blue space, the blue marks is where this used to be. And it continued down there. So what I've got to do, what I'm doing now is this is this is glued in. Um, and as we if we use this, the original angle, this is too acute here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this down further down here. And in order to do that, I've, I've knocked off some pieces of hardboard, which are going to form extensions to this. And I can glue these little pieces on underneath at both ends. There's going to be some of that, and that'll give me another foot of bridge length which will then allow me to soften the angle here so what i'll do now is i'll just get into that now glue that together with me hot glue gun and i'll we'll uh, see what's going to be next Right, there is my extension to the bridge. What I'm going to do is I'll play around with this and I've got to decide on my angles. Okay, so that's the, the bridge put in. But this curve here is, will be in excess of, of a third radius. A very least a third radius so that's going to be fine all i've done there is i just painted out the purple bits that are left just to kill it with some cheap acrylic paint hobby craft stuff that's just to hide the purple another little step forward so the next job will be reinstating the brickwork on this and trying to make this look more like a bridge than a uh, piece of wood so that'll do i'm happy with that okay so i've reinstated the track straight through there where that point was i've just got to fix it down i've actually used a piece of the old track with some of the ballast still in it and it's, it just means gluing down again so that's not a problem but i've just uh, put this wagon on and as you'll see, it just goes sails through without any issues. So I'm really pleased with that. On to the next bit. Uh, the track continues round. As you can see, the old, all the old stuff is gone. And then we come round to where the other set of points were that they've gone. And I've relayed the track going over that bridge and I've done the bridge so and it's all running smoothly and I've got a lovely my lovely little packet just pulling a couple of odd wagons don't shout if they're not the right ones and that has been going around flawlessly on all the new way very smooth indeed So I think in future, from now, from now on, I will be using my packets. It's an old photo, obviously, as my little test train, because I like it. And if an old photo can go over everything, most of everything else should. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so I've now reinstated the brickwork. 
or the main part of the brickwork onto that riser. I've done both sides. Switch it around. Now these strips here, the purple strips, are where I had buttresses, like so. I had these buttresses, but now because I've moved it closer to the track, they won't fit and they fall on the passing train. So what I'm going to have to do is paint them out. They won't uh, show up that much. And as you can see from the top, where it's all been broken away and refitted, there's large gaps there. So what I'm going to be doing as well is fill fill all them with decorator's cork and then reballast over the top. And that will be as good as new. But I think that's fine. It's looking okay. Just needs all reballasting and a bit of a tidy up. And I think I'll make this area here a little bit of a... I might put a maintenance hut here or something just to uh, fill that in. That'll be all right. So that's looking good. Okay, uh, there's the gaps all filled with decorator's cork ready to go over the top with ballast. It's just there to stop the ballast falling through the, the holes created by when I tore it apart. So that uh, should be okay. Just got a couple of little friends uh, with me. An old Heimach there. Quite old there. Uh, that was a non runner. I managed to get back on again. Loving around happily, and I've just had a bit of fun putting some lights inside the cabs on that. In the, when I first started with the trains again, it's not the best job in the world. I think I need a rectifier in there to stop some of the bleed through from the power. But it's, it's, it's not bad, there's a little bit of a glow there. You can see the light there. Right, back again. What we're going to do now is ballast or put the initial a part of the ballast and I do it in two phases. I do the outer areas first and then later on I use ballast magic to do the centre. So I'll be coating all this in PVA and then just coat, uh, filling it up with extra fine ballast. Okay, so that's the first part done. That's just got to go off now, and then I'll hoover it off. And doing it in this particular method, it's a fairly clean way of doing it. I mean, I've only just done that. And this loco can run straight down. I'll soon, um, I might have to give certain areas a, a, another coat of the glue and sprinkle on because I just want to build it up a bit. But then when I'm ready, I just use me the fine ballast with the ballast magic in and I just fill the middle out. And because I've created shoulders here, it just gets a nice effect when it's done. And for some really odd reason, I find Ballasting quite satisfying. As you can see, I've quickly hoovered that off there, and that uh, while I was at it last night, I just did some extra ballasting here. I might as well. I just had PVA out, so I just carried on. So that's looking quite good now. That's the base layer of, of the way I do my ballasting. It's a very uh, dry way of doing it with new PVA and the ballast magic and a bit of moisture. You can actually literally run, especially this first part, you can run the trains on straight after. So, and there's not a mess everywhere, I just couldn't stand all that. That's where we are up to now. Moving on to the next phase of this rebuild. Okay, so it's time to hit this with some more ballast and the ballast magic. I find the, the ballast magic, it's, it's expensive, but it's really convenient.
to show you that. That's looking okay. It's dark because it's drying. This has only just been done, as you saw. So what I'm going to do is redirect the packet down here. And you'll see that doing ballasting doesn't necessarily have to stop you running our little friends. Okay, that's the end of this rebuild, and uh, there's a little packet coming up, just passing where the first set of points was. It's going up the riser, all being very ballasted, and more importantly, tidied up. Now we're coming up to where the second set of points was, which was where my finger is and then going up onto the bridge with the new angle of the bridge and off into the rest of the layout. All the brick wall has been reinstated down, the buttresses reinstated and I think, excuse me, and I think that's a, a result. Just actually put a bridge in and I'm in the middle of weathering that. I've just done a bit of work on that. I've just set those uh, buildings up there, they might stay there permanently. But that's the little bridge that you saw me put together earlier. And I think that is looking good. To conclude, the cutting back of the baseboard has resolved two issues. One was the reaching into the far corners on both sides of the layout, both corners of the layout, all sorted now. And the other one was increasing the room I had to operate and work in the garage. That solved those two issues. Doing this rebuild here and taking stuff away has, number one, has simplified the layout, has removed two sets of points which actually were locations of regular derailments and that's all completely gone. And up at the top here where there was a series there was a series of tighter bend tighter bends was causing in certain locomotives derailments when coaches in a coaches in a rake were going on opposite curves at the same time and it was they were derailing each other so it solved that so that's a, a load of things off the list i'll uh, i'll put a new a new list together of my mistakes and we'll do another video i think so speak to you next time bye bye